Welcome back to our custom mapping series. In the last episode, we explored the power and benefit of using custom mapping in Virtual DJ. Today we'll get our hands dirty and learn how to write your own custom mappings using Virtual DJ scripts, the language Virtual DJ uses for commands. Before we dive in though, let's first access the script editor where we will be writing our mapping magic. If you're using the newer version of Virtual DJ, the script editor is located in your settings area under the controller section. If you're on an older version, it will be under the mapping section. I do however recommend updating your software in order to get the latest features and we have a video on that if you want to learn more. Now let's get back to the tutorial. When you open the controller section, you'll see a virtual keyboard representing your real keyboard and all your mapped keys. Virtual DJ also comes with pre-made mappings called default mappers, which can be accessed from the mapper options menu, and there are four included mappers to choose from. We have the default and default legacy, default record box compatible, and default Serato compatible. We'll be using the default legacy mapper as a base template for writing our custom scripts, mainly because it has essential mappings already and plenty of empty keys to customize. After loading the default legacy mapper, click on any empty key that you'd like to assign a mapping to, and this should open the script editor. Once you're in the editor, you'll see the key you're assigning the action at the top, a space to write your mapping action below it, and it also displays all available virtual DJ actions grouped by category. Now these actions are known as scripting verbs, which is the most basic element of VDJ scripts, and that's because they only contain one action, for example. The script reverse from the audio category only does one action, and that's to play a song backwards. For easy access, you can find a complete list of all these verbs along with a description of what each verb does within Virtual DJ's documentation, which I'll provide a link to in the description. Now let's write a basic script together. As I mentioned in the previous episode, one of the coolest things about custom mapping is automating repetitive tasks. For example, suppose you're like me and mostly use the equalizer knobs during a transition. In that case, you might agree that resetting the knobs after every transition is sometimes annoying, especially when you're mixing live. But thankfully, I found this verb under the equalizer category, and what it does is reset all the equalizer knobs for you. So to map this action to my key, I'll simply click on it and it'll be automatically added to my scripting space. Finally, I'll click on save, and now you'll see that the letter K has an action assigned. So whenever I press that key, my EQ knobs will reset by themselves. Next time, we'll dive deeper into those scripting verb categories, explaining what each category does, and we'll also explore another element of scripting called parameters. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified when we upload the next episode.